Hello everyone. Welcome back to programminginpython.com. I'm back with another video. Here in this video, I'm going to tell you how to print the pattern of letter F. In the previous videos, I have told you how to print the pattern of letter A, B, C and D. So now I'm going to print the pattern of letter F. So before going there and uh, printing the pattern, I just want to tell you that uh, in the previous video uh, last week or so, uh, I just told you I, I mentioned you about an offer from Edunix. Uh, which is uh, uh, at sale currently uh, the, sale is, the sale is still going on and by chance if you are from India uh, they are also running an independence day sale uh, you will get uh, more offers on that so don't miss on that I will also keep the link in the description so check the description for the link don't miss the opportunity guys uh, it's a great sale going on so let's get started so I am in my PyCharm ID guys so uh, I wanted to print the pattern of letter F this is the pattern we are looking to print so this is how it looks like the F so as usual, uh, like in the previous videos, I'll just ask the input, like I'll ask the user the size, input enter the size, and I'll also ask them to print a size which is greater than 8, at least 8. So this is the same for all the programs, this is for letter A, this is for letter B, and this is for letter E. For all the letters, I'm printing the same, so I'll just follow that for letter F as well. So I'll just copy this initially. I'll just ask the user to enter the input uh, and after entering the input I'll just ask check whether the number is greater than 7 or not and if it's greater than 7 I'll just print the pattern I'll go ahead and print the pattern of letter F and if it's, less, if it's not greater than 7 I'll just uh, prompt a message that enter a size minimum of 8 so and also important thing I'll just cast this to integer so I'll take integer number so now let's print this pattern as you see we are able to see the error here because uh, it says unresolved difference print pattern so now i'm just going to uh, define that uh, you can use the uh, syntax define and i'll just take a parameter n so here uh, in uh, pattern we'll take two loops like one for the outer loop for running these uh, uh, rows and one for the in our loop for all the columns like the stripe lines so we have only one column you should print stars at only one column that is the first column and we should print stars in two rows that is the first row and the middle row so first uh, let us write the condition like loops for that so for row in range in range of the size that is eight or something which is some which is greater than eight seven uh, we will call it as n because we pa we pass the parameter here. That parameter we'll use here, and for the columns, for column in range, I will also use n here. Let's see if it doesn't work well. I'll just change the number. Like uh, here, the range is columns. Like if I using eight columns, uh, eight rows. I also should use eight columns uh, so that it looks like a square but let us see let's first do with n later then we can change to n minus one or if maybe n plus one like that so i have written um, uh, loops like for loop uh, for outer loop and inner loop. So now i'll just write the conditions for printing the rows and columns first i'll print two rows that is uh, row equal to equal to zero so if row equal equal to equal to zero so that will print us this row and row equal to equal to n by two i'll just uh, uh, print that exact center or row equal to equal to n by by two floor division actually we need to do floor division so here this is if condition i'll print stars here i also said i, I also said i'll just uh, going to print a star here and i'll give an end and as empty because by default n takes a new line if i don't give this empty it will go to the new line and uh, after each start it will go to the new line but we don't want to want to print this entire row so i'll just use n as empty if you give a space it will print space after each and every f so first try with empty if doesn't if it doesn't look good we'll just go, and go with the space so if l and an else condition I need to print spaces. Here also I need to specify end as empty. And after first for I need to print empty space, I mean print empty line. 
I can just do print uh, because after each iteration it, it has to go to the next line. So for that I will use this print. So I'll just run this pattern f. So I'll just enter the size of uh, suppose twelve. So it has printed me the first row and the this is supposed to be the middle row. So now let me print that first column. I equal to equal to row or this is I'll just put the rows here and or I'll print column equal to equal to zero. That's it. We need only the first uh, first column. So that's it. I'll all coordinate equal to zero. Now let let us run this again and see for the output. I'll just I will again give twelve as you can see we can see a F that is pretty good. We don't need to do any adjustments like changing the size of columns or nodes. This looks okay for me. So this is how we print the pattern of letter F. So uh, the basic things, uh, the basic things here is the conditions like when we should uh, print the stars and when we should print these columns. So the basic conditions are we need to print rows in uh, rows in uh, two situations. That is uh, the first iteration because uh, we are looping uh, rows and columns. This will be the first row. And this will be the second row. This will be third row. This will be fourth row, and this will be fifth row. So, so like that. So I just want to print stars in first row. So I just give row equal to equal to zero. As you know, the index starts from zero. And I also want to print exactly half. So I just want to give n equal to equal to n by by two. And this is called floor division. Not exactly half, but it sometimes gives uh, one above, one below. If you based upon the odd number or even number. So. This is the uh, column for row, and this is okay. This is something what changed. So this is the column for uh, zero. Uh, this is the this is to print the first column. This is zeroth column, and this will be the first column. This second column. You only need to print a, a starts in the first column. So I just give column as zero. So that's uh, in in those conditions will print stars, and in all other cases like uh, all the empty spaces here, this all these spaces will print a space. So the final result will look something like this. So we have stars all over here, and we have spaces. You can see these are all spaces. This is these are all spaces. These are all spaces, and these are these are stars. So that's how we can print this pattern of letter F. Hope you like the video, guys. If you like it, please consider subscribing to the channel, programminginpython.com. Share it with your friends. Give it a like, comment, and also if you have any queries, please let me know in the comments. And also I'll post all this code like which I told you now and all the previous patterns and all necessary code required in the github and also I'll also maintain a blog post. I'll also post that link in the description. So don't forget to look for the description. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more videos on programming and python.com. Bye bye.